Hi students, and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Mr. Hunter. Today, we will investigate the question, how can we compare Earth's events that have formed and shaped Yardangs with those that have formed and shaped Surtsey? Are you ready? Grab your pencil and your science journal, and let's get started. Let's travel back to Circe and think about all that we have explored so far. Look at this aerial picture of Circe. Do you remember what this thin piece of land is called? Yell it out. That piece of land is a spit. Let's start our adventure there on the spit. Imagine you hear the water hitting the rocks and you feel the wind blowing against your face. Do you remember what interacted with the land to change the spit? Wind and water changed the spit. Did this change to the land happen quickly or slowly? The change may seem slow, but it happened in less than one person's lifetime. A slow earth event takes more than one person's lifetime to happen. So this change happened quickly and changes are still happening. Let's keep walking and see what landform we find next. Whoa, here are the craters on Circe. How long do you think the craters took to form? Hmm, I wonder if they formed slowly or quickly. Circe formed from a volcanic eruption, which took less than four years. So I think the craters formed quickly. Do you agree? Hey, what is that landform over in the distance? These cliffs are the tough cliffs. Wow, look at how darker rocks and sand are at the top of the cliff and lighter rocks are at the bottom. Amazing. I remember that the tough cliffs were formed from the volcano when Circe erupted. That earth event happened quickly. But we also know that changes to Circe, such as wind and water events, are still happening now. Wow, we really have learned so much about Circe. I think we should update our anchor model. Are you ready? Let's see what we have. There was no island in 1962. Then the island of Circe formed when a volcano erupted in the ocean and enough lava built up to reach above the water. Circe is now smaller than when it formed, and some of the land has washed into the ocean. But let's add something about how land can change over time. Hmm, what do you think we should add? How about quick events such as a volcanic eruption have changed Circe quickly? Other events, such as wind and water events, continue to shape Circe's land over time. Let's look at our driving question board. Here are our unanswered questions. I wonder if we can answer any of the remaining questions in our driving question board. Let's give it a try. Which questions do you think we can answer now? Point to the questions on the screen. Hmm. Let's start with this question. How long do tornadoes last? Do you think we can answer this question? Give me a thumbs up if we have enough information to answer the question. Give me a thumbs down if we don't think we have enough information to answer this question. Yes, thumbs up. When we ordered Earth events, we found out how long tornadoes last. How long did the Moore tornado last? That's right, the Moore tornado happened in just minutes. But wait, this Earth event chart makes me think about other questions on our driving question board that we can answer. Does a volcano erupting or an earthquake take longer to happen? And did delicate arch and wave rock take the same amount of time to form? What do you think? 
We can see on our Earth events diagram that the Mount St. Helens eruption took more time to happen than the Loma Prieta earthquake. How long did the delicate arch and wave rock take to happen? Both took many thousands of years to form as wind and water made slow changes to the rocks over a long period of time. Let's look at this question. Are more islands forming in the ocean right now? What do you think? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Yes, thumbs up. We know volcanoes are short-term events and can happen quickly. Mount St. Helens erupted over hours, and Circe erupted over several years. So both events happen in the span of a human lifetime. Since these events happened recently and over time spans much less than the lifetime of a human being, can we answer our question? Yes, we can infer that more volcanoes are likely forming in the ocean right now. Let's add these to the answered section on our driving question board. Wow, we answered a lot of questions today. We still have some unanswered questions, but that's okay. Even though we didn't answer these questions together, you can always explore them on your own. So how can we sort all the questions we answered? Let's look at what these questions have in common. Hmm, you know what I noticed? The questions are about land changes over time. Let's add a new category to our driving question board. How long do changes to land take? According to what you have learned so far, how long do changes to land take? Well, land can change in just a few seconds or over thousands of years. Land can change quickly or slowly, depending on the event. All the knowledge we've gained so far will help us answer the question, how can the island of Circe change shape over time? In the next lesson, we will summarize our understanding of changes to land, including the land on Circe. Let's review your task for today. First, Update the anchor model and explanation. Then answer the question about how long changes to land take. Thanks for joining me on today's journey as we updated the anchor model and answered questions from the driving question board. Your task for today is to complete lesson 21B science journal. I'll see you next time.